Hi there, YouTube. Joel here, and today we're going to be finishing up our Cummins 12 valve engine rebuild series. So we'll put the finishing touches on this engine next. So to get you guys caught up on where we're at, we've uh, gone ahead and installed a uh, new fuel pin and governor spring in our VE pump. Got it mounted up and dialed in. Made sure that our timing marks are lined up exactly where they were when we took it apart. You guys can check out part one and verify that. Got it all tightened down, ready to go. Also have the uh, new fuel pump installed and partially plumbed in. So what we're going to do today is put all of the remaining uh, details on the outside of the engine and get it painted and ready for install. So we'll put a water pump on, we'll put our timing cover on. We also uh, went ahead and uh, installed the uh, little tab for the killer dowel pin. So that's done. We can cross that off the list. We'll get this thing all prettied up, get all the fuel lines on, get the injectors in, and get it painted and ready to go into our Suburban. So next, we're going to go ahead and uh, start putting injectors in. So let's uh, talk about uh, injectors here. I'm continuing to bolt uh, some stuff on. So what I decided to do for injectors um, on this engine uh, since it was had quite a few miles on it, was a, uh, I had some custom injectors manufactured um, utilizing the bodies of the 215 horsepower P-pump injectors, but with the smaller um, top for the VE pump. So these are kind of a hybrid injector. They're the uh, 215 horsepower injector that came on the 97 uh, P-pump 12 valve, uh, but it has the uh, 12 millimeter uh, top instead of the 14 millimeter. On top of that, we had them uh, custom set to uh, the lower pop-off pressure uh, to match the VE pump. So other options uh, for VE pump injectors, there's a lot of uh, talk about the uh, POD injectors. Those are those are okay. They're just uh, I think a little bit too aggressive for uh, for what my application. Um, and on top of that. Nobody is going to disagree that the 215 factory style injector is a good injector for the 12 valve. So again, if you guys uh, want to uh, purchase a set of these for your VE pump or even uh, for your P pump, I'll uh, go ahead and post the link to this hybrid style injector um, in the uh, description. Uh, so I uh, always put a little bit of assembly lube um, on the uh, washer as well as on the threads. Make sure that when you put these guys in, they index correctly, and then you just uh, snug them up and torque them down. And then we're now, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, get our fuel lines, our actual injector lines installed. And you want to make sure that uh, you blow these out. Make sure that these are really, really clean, because they would hate for you to to go ahead and and get all these installed and have a bunch of junk inside. So we flushed them out really, really good with some brake cleaner, blew them out really well with uh, compressed air. And now it's just a matter of getting them snaked into the right spot. Which does take a little bit of finagling. But you uh, install these front ones first and then you go ahead and install the back ones. So we're going to leave those loose. I always like to put a little bit of assembly lube on the threads uh, just in case you have to take it apart again. It, it will uh, <coughs> aid in that. So now that we got those guys tight, we can go ahead and uh, drop in the rest of these bolts for the intake manifold on the clamps. 
so for these uh, injector lines over here, you're just going to want to snug these. You don't want to go ahead and tighten them all the way down because we're going to have to crack them loose to bleed all of the air out once we uh, get to the final final startup. But the rule is never leave anything loose, so we're just going to snug them down and then we'll uh, crack them one at a time when, uh, <clears throat> when she fires up. Put a little bit of assembly lube on those threads. Snug them up and you're good to go. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, tighten up all of the intake bolts. So here's the uh, last item we have to put on our engine before we can uh, go ahead and uh, spray some of that uh, Cummins beige paint. It's the front cover. So we need to replace the seal first. So I'm just going to drive the seal out with a punch. Tap that out like that. Clean that surface with a little bit of rag and brake cleaner. Lay it on the bench, and the seal itself comes with an installation tool to get the right depth, <clears throat> as well as a little guide right here to uh, guide it over the crank. And uh, it says specifically to uh, install the seal dry. So we're gonna gonna get it started. Try and get it started evenly. And drive it in with a block of wood. You can hear the difference in the uh, tone when you. Uh, Get it seated all the way down. And then just take a look and make sure that it's all that it's even all the way around, and it is. So we're good to go. So now we can uh, get the gasket, get all of our bolts, put a little bit of Loctite on those bolts, and uh, go ahead and button that up and spray some Cummins beige. <laughs> 